This is Charles Kale with Travel Mall TV at Focusrite Conference in Fort Lauderdale with Charles de Gaspé Goubien, who's the CEO of Group Pies. Charles, it's, uh, it's very good to, to see people working on solving the challenge of booking groups. Yeah, so Group Eyes, you know, uh, is a group booking platform where you can book and manage your groups. And you'd think it would have been done by now. Yeah. Groups and meetings represent 30% of the hotel industry's revenue. So why is it that today you book groups via emails, forms, phone calls, very inefficient process? Why? Well, one of the reasons is um, it was tried before. You know, two companies called Grupal and Group Travel Planet tried it. It was in uh, you know, 2004 to 2008 area, spent a lot of money and didn't get there. So it scared a lot of the industry that it couldn't be done. Uh, a few years later, now the planners are online by the millions. They're trying to interact and transact with the hotels online for groups and meetings, but the solutions really aren't there. So we started tackling this um, in 2010 sort of looking at the lessons from the past and really understanding what the processes are in booking a group and what systems you really need to integrate to. It's probably one of the hardest things to fix in the group space or in the hotel space is how to book groups online. Wasn't uh, part of the problem with the earlier people, not just the technology, but one of, does a hotel want to do it this way? Yeah, that's always a, you know, uh, a big you know, player in the game. It's their inventory, it's their supply, so you know, you gotta get the industry ready to you know, adapt new channels and new models. And what did you find? Um, they weren't ready then. Uh, they're getting ready uh, more and more every day. Now's the time. Uh, and the main reason is these hotels are bombarded with these ERFPs and forms and are unqualified. And they convert right now one to two percent from online groups. So the hotels, you know, they're moving precious resources to online and they just can't convert. So they realize people want to work with them, but they better get the right solutions, and that's why they're open to it now. Are they more resistant to groups that are beyond a certain size or number of rooms, and less so uh, uh, below a certain number of rooms? Yeah, there's always been, um, you know, systems in place for the large groups, you know, for the large meetings, and, and you know, those you can take offline. The challenge now is that 70% of the groups, you know, in the U.S. alone, it's $25 billion, are sort of the 5 to 25 room groups. So small groups, mostly rooms only, a lot of them being leisure. And these people, you know, just want to book. They're going online and they expect to be able to book 20 rooms in real time. And it's quite the opposite. They make them out, fill out forms, fill out contracts. And it's, you know, a process to take days instead of minutes. Yeah, some of them will put out certainly five rooms on their FIT individual booking site. And stretching that to 10, I guess some of them could, could buy that. You know? Yeah. So typically a group was 10 rooms. That was all, you know, and now some of the websites allow to book, you know, up to nine rooms as, as FITs. Uh, what we're seeing is groups are getting smaller. So that whole sort of five to 10 rooms is a gray area now, you know. Seven rooms, eight rooms, you could be a group. You could be 30 people. So there's a gray area between five to 10 rooms, and then 10 rooms or more is definitely a group in the industry. How many hotels and what kind of uh the transaction levels that you can share with us that yeah. you've experienced thus far. Yeah. Keeping in mind, you're you know, you're still the pioneer and yeah. fighting the Billions. bat. <laughs> <laughs> so right now, uh, our technology is being used by a thousand hotels. So we're in the business of licensing uh, a groups and meeting solution for hotel chains. Uh, next year, probably we're on target for more than nine thousand hotels using our technology. Uh, on the other side of the business, we're launching our affiliate product where websites that want to be able to sell more than nine rooms online can also use our technology. So our volume is about to drastically increase on that side of the business next year as well. So they'll use your technology to access right now the 1,000 hotels? No, they no? we can access you know, 45,000 hotels in the U.S. already. So the 1,000 hotels are paying us to use our technology, but on the other side, we already have 45,000 hotels that we built the that can, system. That will give you instant confirmation or is it required? A, a combination of, of three. The, the, the lowest denominator is always a quote. You know, if somebody's you know has you know is really not open to the the model and just wants to get quote, they're at the bottom. The second uh, tier is what we call semi-automated, where we pull group rates in real time, but it still manages a lead. And then the third one is fully automated. So uh, out of the 45,000 hotels, about 15,000 will be fully automated next year. So it's and more of a... Currently, I mean, what was the pace of increase? Like how many now, what was it last year of the fully automated? Last year was zero. You know, when we've tried to come out to the market, uh, the market didn't want to participate because mm -hmm. we didn't have the right 
processes, we weren't integrating the right systems yet, we didn't have the right controls. There was a big learning curve on, you know, you got to build it, you got to build it right for the hotels because group inventory is, is critical to them and they want to manage it. Thank you so much and best of luck. I think there's, uh, if you can crack it, it's going to make a big, big difference to the industry. We're cracking it. <laughs> Thanks, John.